Hey guys, Dan Warpaint JKU. So in this quick video, we're just going to take a couple of minutes to compare something that hopefully helps some of y'all that are out there wondering why there are so many people that say you can't run a large tire on something like a Dana 44. We all know that the Dana 30 has a really small ring and pinion, but the Dana 44 ring and pinion is considerably larger and you can build those axles to be pretty strong with trusses and gussets and all other sorts of things. But there are some big key differences when it comes to where the wheel actually bolts onto the axle and in your steering that are very, very evident when you're near a Dana 60 and you actually can compare it to a Dana 44. Now, I've never seen it done like this, so we're just going to take a couple of minutes to compare the hub bearing assembly, the, the part of the axle that supports the weight of your vehicle and the weight of your wheel and tire combination as it's going down the road or crawling over some big rocks. So stick around, check out the video, make sure to share it, make sure to subscribe. We got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, we got some vehicle builds, axle swaps, all kinds of things. But uh, this video should clear it up, okay? Because I used to be one of those people. I was one of those people that thought that my built Dana 44 could handle a larger tire, especially when you consider the weight of some of those heavy 37s versus some of the lighter 40s. There's not much difference. And it was hard for me to understand why a tire that's only a few pounds heavier was looked down upon uh, on something like a Dana 44. But this will definitely help clear that up for you. So stick around, check it out. Dana 60 hub bearing versus the Dana 30, Dana 44, ultimate Dana 44 hub bearing as well. And just for you to see the difference, this here is the Dana 60 uh, hub bearing next to the Dana 44, Dana 30 hub bearing. So you can obviously tell the difference. Now, one of the other differences is the way it connects to the hub. The Super Duty Dana 60 hub bearing uses four of these and they're studs. So they thread in on this side and then they get a big nut on this side. It uses four of them all around this hub bearing to actually install. Whereas the Dana 30, Dana 44 only has three and they're not actually studs. They're gonna be bolts and they're considerably smaller than the ones on the Dana 60, but it's got three of them, right? Supposed to four, four larger ones. Obviously the size of the axle shaft in here versus the size of the axle shaft in here is way different. Um, and you got eight lugs instead of five, right? And even the lugs are bigger. So again, when it comes to running like that 40 or a bigger tire on a Dana 44, you know, the ultimate Dana 44 is a great axle housing and it can definitely handle a pretty large tire, especially if you're not gonna be abusing it off-road. But if you are gonna be abusing it off-road or even driving it on-road, you gotta remember, the knuckles are the same size, the ball joints are the same size, the hub bearing is the same size, even the brakes are the same size, right? So, just something to think about. All right, guys, so there you have it, right? Uh, Super Duty Dana 60 versus the Dana 44, Ultimate Dana 44, Dana 30 wheel hub bearing. So we still haven't talked about some of the things uh, like the size of the knuckle, the size of, you know, the ball joints, the size of the axle shafts, U joints, things like that still have not been mentioned in this particular video. I did talk about some of those specifics and show those in some of the other videos. But with that said, there are people that break Dana 60s with 40s on them. There are people that break Dana 44s and Dana 30s with stock tires on them. So it really just comes down to the horsepower you make, your wheeling style, and whether you're wheeling it at all anyway. Right? I mean, some people just take these and put big tires on them so they look the part, and then they drive to the mall. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps some of you guys out to see them side by side that maybe have never seen them that way before. Make sure to subscribe. A lot more stuff coming.